Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. You know, when people are suspects in a crime, they usually do things to try not to appear guilty. They try to look squeaky clean, usually. One ploy that they might use is to try to direct suspicion towards others. Donald Trump, for example, has made accusations that it was Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and the Democrats who were colluding with the Russians. But Trump has never criticized the Russians or Vladimir Putin. His attempts to cast suspicion elsewhere <coughs> have been pretty clumsy, inept, and easily debunked. But in oh so many other ways, Trump's behavior makes him look oh so guilty. It not only screams, I did it, it screams, I'm still doing it. For example, not only did he fire James Comey, but then he met with the Russians and bragged about doing that. He even told them that the pressure was off now because he'd gotten rid of Comey. And then he went on national TV and admitted that he fired Comey over the Russia investigation. Evidently, he thought that the investigation would just stop. It didn't. He then started getting rid of people at the FBI who he felt were against him. I don't know what Trump was thinking, but it certainly did not make him look innocent. It made him look like a man with nothing, with something to hide. And Trump has made no secret of his desire to get rid of Rob Rosenstein, who was overseeing Robert Mueller's investigation. And he made no secret about how angry he was with Jeff Sessions when he recused himself from the investigation, even though by the time he did that, he had no choice. Trump was constantly on Twitter berating Sessions for not protecting him, putting it out there for everyone to see. Then there was the fact that he kept Mike Flynn on the job even after he was told that Flynn had been compromised by the Russians. And of course there was asking Comey to stop the investigation into Flynn. But most damning has been Trump's behavior toward Russia since he took office. As I mentioned before, he's criticized everybody except Putin and the Russians. And he took Putin's word that he didn't interfere in our elections over our intelligence agencies. He has refused to implement sanctions against Russia, even though the law requires that he do so. He even closed the State Department sanctions office. And then there has been all the secret meetings that Trump has had with Putin, the Russians, and the phone calls. Usually when a president meets with, say, Vladimir Putin, they bring in their staff. Their top advisors are also involved in that meeting. And those meetings are public. Everybody knows that they're going to happen beforehand. Trump goes into these meetings alone. There's not even an American translator. He depends on the Russians to translate it. So Putin or whoever the Russians have representing them is in there and they have all their intelligence officials and things like that and stuff like that. Trump is in there by himself. And the meetings are secret. We have found out about Trump's meeting with, with Putin and the Russians from the Russians, not from the White House. And 
The Russians are the ones who tell us what was discussed. We have to take their word that this was what went on. See, that's the final straw, that's the final proof that not only did Trump collude with the Russians, but that he's still doing it. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page. The other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.